tucked away on a quiet street just off Broadway in Oakland, California, is a newly renovated senior community, Westlake Christian Terrace. It is one among 53 affordable senior communities that are operated by CCH, a nonprofit dedicated to helping seniors age in place since 1961. Here I found a welcoming campus of residents who enjoy tranquility, support, and camaraderie. When I recently visited Westlake, I was greeted by CCH Vice President of Operations, Cletus Young, and Resident Council President, Sister Marie Taylor. Together, they showed me how CCH works to provide more than a home to its community members. They also described how residents benefit from their safe surroundings, as well as from the service coordination provided by CCH staff and management. I saw smiling faces enjoying the day and each other, and it was truly a pleasure to meet many of them along the way. Yet the main purpose for my visit was to meet one specific resident, Patty Chen, a recent recipient of the Resident Care Fund. This fund was created especially to help low-income seniors in the midst of a personal crisis. With Patty, I sat down to discuss life at Westlake Christian Terrace and the impact of this special fund. When did you first come to Westlake? I come to the Westlake in 2011. How have you enjoyed being here? Oh, yes. I like, when I first I come here, I like here so the lawn is bigger and have the balcony and buy and sunshine is very good. Because it's the balcony, I can make my pen, some like a flower, little grass, something I like. <laughs> so, yeah. You feel at home here? Yes. How would you describe the staff and the management here at Westlake? Yeah, the management is very good. When I have the problem, like my husband passed away, I feel very hard time, very, very upset. So I cry all the time. But the management uh, inside, like uh, Miss Edge Williams, Vanessa, uh, my social worker, Sally, Miss Sally Jung, they all come to talk to me and say something like, don't cry. You, if you have any problem, you can come down to talk with us. If we can do for you, we must do. Tell me more about uh, you and your husband. And we have married on 1981. He is very strong guy. He very like to dry the seafood. Because he have a good skill, he can dry the fish. We buy the seafood dry in uh, South America mm -hmm. and then send back to United States or China. Right. So you, you built your own business, starting yes, from right. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been a very difficult loss for you, losing your husband. Yes, yeah. yes. Because he, my husband is a very strong guy. Mm -hmm. I don't think he just in the hospital. Just if one, this is total easy, one month, about 40 days. And uh, the bad time just the last few days and then he passed away. So I cannot accept in my mind. So why I, I feel very, very hard time, very difficult on that day. But the staff here provided support and comfort for you, like a family. Yes, they like a family. They like a family. They like my family. Yeah. So when your husband passed away, the resident care fund was important to you, to, to help you at that point, right? Yes, the fund helped me a lot. Like, because I don't think he will die in that month, on June. So, have this problem. How can I do? My hand have no money. So the funerals needs a lot of money. The fund help me so I can pay the money come from the fund, the company fund to my husband their funeral. And then I can fix my financial, buy the food, pay the rental. It helped you survive. Yeah, help me a lot. 
How did it feel to, to receive the funds? How did it make you feel? Oh, when I get the fund, oh my God, I said, that's it. in my heart time. That's it like, give me the more the air, more the water. I think like that one. I was genuinely touched by Patty's story. And as our interview drew to a close, I became increasingly impressed with CCH and its commitment to helping seniors, not only during moments of crisis, but throughout their golden years by creating a real community where friends become family.